Okay, so hey guys, and welcome back to another predictions video. And in today's video, I'm going to be predicting the Dubois versus Brian fight. If you are new around here though, and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you do indeed like the video. And just before we get straight into it, I know there is a fight, a Japanese fight. I think it's like a guy called Inui, or I probably butchered that really badly, my bad. Um, but I won't have time to predict who's going to win for that fight because, I mean, I think that fight's happening like today, so... And I can't even remember who the opponent is, but I know it is a pretty big fight for uh, them. So, my bad. I'll talk about it in Sport This Week, though, next week. Um, so, yeah, look out for that. Sorry about that. Um, but, I mean, there is only a certain amount of predictions I can do per week. Um, and I chose to do this one instead. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, going into this, Dubois is 17-1 and with 16 KOs. And Brian is 22-0 and with 15 KOs. This fight is for the WBA World Heavyweight title, in which Brian currently holds. Uh, Dubois' last fight was a win via TKO in round one versus Kusumano. Uh, all of Dubois' wins, except one, have been either a KO or TKO inside the first five rounds, which is a crazy stat to think about. Uh, he won on points versus Johnson in 2018, though, which was his only one. Um, that didn't end in KO or TKO. Brian's last fight was a split decision win versus Gaidry, and Gaidry is fighting on the same card versus Scott, um, and I do think Gaidry will win by unanimous decision in the end. Um, so he's kind of just fighting Scott because it seems as though Scott's like the new youth coming through, and there's quite a big age gap between the two of them. Um, so it will be interesting to see what happens, but I do think Gaidry will be able to get the win in the end. Um, Dubois only lost came via KO in round 10 versus Joyce in 2020 but that's completely fair because I mean Joyce seems to, to be having a very big path along the heavyweight division and probably will make it very high up if not to the top um, at some point in his career. This is Dubois first USA main event his last fight was a USA fight but that was on, on the undercard of the Jake Paul fight um, so this is his first US main event so it'll be interesting to see what he's like under the lights of a crowd that's not really going to be rooting for him majority of them probably won't be um Dubois is the favorite however as he said that he wants to he's going to prove people wrong and that he's coming here to put on a show um and it seems as though the bookies have believed that and he's now put him as a favorite um and i mean it's fair enough i mean if you see his power it's not surprising um in the end though i do think that Dubois will win via TKO in round 5 and keep that stat going uh, only just but um, yeah I do think he'll be able to win and then going on there's a few fights that he could he could get I mean I'm probably not even mention, about to mention all the ones that he could get um, but I've just got a few names here being Ruiz Jr, Ortiz, Wilder or White I'm pretty sure he could fight any of them and they would be good fights all of them so it'd be interesting to see if any of them do end up becoming a fight um, but if not then be interesting to see where he moves on with his career um but yeah that is all the end this is the end of this video i believe tomorrow's video is a shevchenko uh prediction i might be wrong um but i believe she's fighting and i'm going to be predicting that um but yeah if you are new around here though and you haven't yet subscribed please do so like video if you do indeed like the video and thanks for watching